Let's talk about Travis and Taylor now, because we can never get enough of it here on Good Day, yeah, especially we haven't in talked the about celebrity it. dish. <laughs> okay, guys, so they are the it couple right now. We know Taylor fans are very protective of the singer, okay? And as a result, a lot of them have been digging into Travis's background. One thing that has popped up is his 2016 appearance on Bravo's Watch What Happens Live, where he answered some questions about dating deal breakers. So I want you to see if you can see why some T Swift fans are a little concerned and raising some red flags, guys. Is it a deal breaker if a girl won't sleep with you after the third date? The third date. I feel like that's like the that's the breaker right there. Is that it? Right. Th three dates. That's like. That's if you don't like, have sex the third date, that that's it. You, you won't I mean, I want to I want to say a deal breaker, but I mean, it's like it's like. It, what did you want to teach you? Put some questions in there. <laughs> okay. Very very classy gentleman. I, I didn't say you weren't. Those okay. first those first two dates are top Flat. of the line dates. Yes. <laughs> So now, I rarely, rarely do this, but in Travis's defense, that was seven years ago. He's 33 now. He was 26 then. I like to think people can grow and change. We talked to TMZ yesterday. They said they have been on at least maybe two dates, less than five. So according to his rule, we'll see what that means for them. However, the other new development in this is he just dropped a new episode of his New Heights podcast with his brother Jason this morning. Take a look at it. So he talks about Sunday's game, Taylor hanging out in the suite with his mom, chest bumping her, chest bumping their family, friends, and fans. He talked about all the excitement around the game. He talked about all the attention it's gotten. He's talked about how he no longer has a personal life as a result. He said how great Taylor was, how much everyone loved her. He talked about how his coach, Andy Reid, is now taking credit for playing matchmaker, guys. We're going to have a lot more on this coming up tomorrow as well, but that new episode, guys, is out right now. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll let y'all uh, have at it. Well, well, I will say this. Um, Travis Kelsey has had big moments and scored a, scored a lot of touchdowns, scored a lot in his career, yeah. but none bigger than this one Than here. this one right here okay. when All it right. comes to Taylor Swift. Yeah. I agree. I was looking online last night, and people were sharing a picture of his ex-girlfriend. She's a baddie. And he likes chocolate girls. So, oh, that's, so, so, that, so that's that's the whole thing. <laughs> is it a downgrade or an upgrade? So that's been a well, whole conversation well, on social media. At, at least black Twitter. That's cloud, been a whole conversation. It's an upgrade, well, yeah. but it, she's a baddie. So I don't know. I don't think this is going to last too long. I think they're too different to compare the two. Mm -hmm. The two women. His his ex is gorgeous. Um, I, I will say, man, talk about a win, win, win all around mm -hmm. the podcast, the coach, the team, the NFL, Taylor Swift. Mm -hmm. Except for that team they played that <laughs> lost by a lot. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So I think they're really the only losers here. That said, I I can see this ending well, even wow. if it ends. I mean, yes. above all wait, else, wait, it's wait, been <laughs> above all else has been great PR. Wait. You know I have control of the prompter, right? <laughs> you know I can put anything I want in there, right? And you're going to do me like that? I'm just, Go I'm just saying. Ouch. All right, guys. <laughs>